From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Empe Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are Doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empe. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Empe Presents. I've been talking to our crew here, and none of us can believe that we are actually going into a new year. It went so fast. Didn't this past year just fly by? You know, I, I love our, our sign over here because it says an awful lot. Happy New Year. And I want to start the program out with that. We would love to wish all of you the most happy and blessed New Year that you've ever had. But because it uh, sort of winds up the year, this program, we are going to be doing what we call review of the year and what happened during this past year. And my mind is boggled. I think probably yours is also with what happened because uh, there's been so much hatred around the world. And I'm going to come to Jack in a moment about that. Why? Why should it, it turn out like this? But I'd like for you to see some of the headlines, review of the year. Going on, the first headline, deadly Easter blast jolts Sri Lanka. You remember that one? Also from the Wall Street Journal, again, on Sri Lanka, bombings claim foreign tourists. Well, they are just, uh, they couldn't get over it. What happened? Deadly bombings rock Philippine Cathedral. Oh, my, look how they blew it up. Oh, I can't believe it. It's around the world. Gunman kills three people in Dutch city. Well, there you have it. Again, around the world. Gunman kills at least 12 people in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Oh, I can't believe how they will just go in. They don't care who's there. They just kill them, 12 people. And then hate in America. Many victims don't report the crimes because they're a little bit afraid to do it. Hate in America. And this is something else, anti-Semitism in France. Those who, they went to France to find protection and now anti-Semitism. Going on, anti-Semitic acts spreading like a poison in France. And again from the Wall Street Journal, a massacre of Christians, not only the Jewish community, but Christians. And uh, this last one, anti-Christian fury rises in Egypt. Look at that. Anti-Christian, all those coffins inside a cathedral. My, oh, my. Did you ever think that you would see hatred, not only here, but around the world. And I'm going to ask Jack, does this really point to something, Jack? Did the Bible address the fact that Satan would really be on the prowl because the time is coming when he won't? Satan walks about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. But you know who he uses? People, Christians, who aren't in tune with the Holy Spirit. What? 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5. This was the last day. Perilous, dangerous time shall come. Men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. From such turn away, these are Christians who are backslidden. And do we need a Holy Ghost revival? That's just 19 different personalities that produce all this hatred among Christians. A lot of the Christians with their wagging tongues are troublemakers from the word go. And you're going to hear almost 50 signs tonight. Every single sign is here. You know, this book calls, you got to get my Bible. That's going to be the greatest thing I've ever done. And that's the teaching of the Word of God. Many years now I have preached, go you to all the world and preach the gospel. 
Christ died, was buried, rose again, and I'm going to keep preaching it. But now I'm going to add something. Go and teach, teach all nations. I'm going to teach you the Bible like you've never heard it. I'm going to tell the whole story, and I'm going to tell you something you're going to learn. 10,385 verses that Christ is about to come. They're all here. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, we're going home soon. You're going to hear more in a few minutes. We're going to be Let's doing some specials, on. Jack, on some oh, of those boy. things. But I want to go on. You gave one reference about what's going on in the world, but I want to go on with some of these things that really I can't even imagine. This next headline that you're going to see will shock you. It did when it happened. Nine-year-old charged with first-degree murder of five in a fire. Nine years old? What's happening in our country? Two shootings claim seven lives. Now, that was in Oklahoma. And seven fatally shot in Chicago over Labor Day weekend. Now, you know what? Uh, they're just going in and, and shooting. They're using their guns to uh, have fatalities. I just can't believe that they would do this. And then again, at least 10 killed in school shootings. You know, so many children are involved in these shootings. Once again, attackers kill eight in Rampage in southern Brazil school. And I'm pointing out these young kids here and around the world. Brazil school. Well, someplace else that they are shooting, deadly attack targets, German synagogue, and teens arrested in students killing. All of these have to do with teenagers or even younger. And then New Jersey shootout has community on edge. You notice all of these are murders, shooting. I, I'm just amazed sometimes when you turn on the television set and you hear again, in fact, some of my friends say, I just don't like to watch the news anymore. You hear again how somebody went into a school, shoot, went into a church even, were shooting, went into a, a supermarket, shooting. Oh my, how we need to pay attention to where we are in the coming of the Lord. We're going to address that in a few moments. But Jack, once again, there's another reference that I wish that you would give concerning all these hate things. Oh, yeah. I've been under 15 death threats in my ministry, and it's really bad right now. But I wasn't comfortable last night. But it's prophesied in the Bible. Everything she just said, and that is Matthew 24, verses 3 to 18. Now, this next prophecy is directed to the Jews in Jerusalem. And as Jesus sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples said to him, Tell us, when shall these things come? And what shall be the sign of your coming? Jesus answered and said to him, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be in trouble, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. World War III is going to be terrible. 200 million are going to die. And before this message is finished, I'm going to tell you that we won't be here. We're going to be raptured first. We will miss World War III. Amen. But this is what this is all about. And he says, when you see all these signs, know that the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is at the door. Hallelujah. Amen. We Christians are lucky people. We are going to miss World War III. I'm going to tell you even more uh -huh. as we come to the close of this message. Oh, 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 what hope we have if we're saved. Amen. Well, Jack, I'm going to now go into something else. The Bible doesn't lack anything. The Bible is all-inclusive because God wrote it. He inspired those who penned it, but he actually gave them the information that he wanted us to have. Not only would there be violence, 
just before the coming of the Lord, but so many other things. I'd like to point you to something right now. And you know, for years, decades, scientists uh, inferred the existence of black holes. Well, there you see it, billions of black holes. The universe is actually filled with these bizarre objects. What do we know about them? Going on, black hole is seen for first time. Well, for years they thought there were something out there like that. And uh, handicapping the space race. Whoa, everybody wants to get out there. Uh, all the countries, India set to land rover on the moon. Well, ever since America reached the moon, the other countries have been trying to get up there also. Life on Mars, where Earthlings trash the planet? Oh my, life on Mars. Well, they're going to be trying to get up there and live there, fighting over the final frontier. Mm. While well, Earth rises over the proposed lunar gateway. Gateway, oh my goodness, they're trying to get out. And then Bahamas in ruins as Carolinas brace. Well, we all know about the hurricanes and the terrible weather that we've been having. Not only things in space, um, but the terrible things happening right here on Earth. And no days off from suffering, a month of mayhem. Oh my, the floods. Oh, my heart goes out to them. Well, I don't know, Jack, I'm gonna come to you because I've heard Jack give a verse of scripture, something about the sea and the waves roaring. Certainly we're going to, is that correct, uh, Jack? Luke 21, 25. Jesus said, there shall be signs of the sun, the moon, space, the sea, and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming to pass on the earth. And when these things begin to happen, look up. Your redemption, your salvation, the rapture draws an eye. Get ready. Don't fool around. Because the end is near. Not the end of the world. Anyone who ever preaches that is an idiot, does not know his Bible. The book says the world will never end. What? The world will never end. It's the end of the church age. These are the signs that the church ends. God says, I'm through with the church. They failed, and we're going to start something new. Then shall the gospel of the kingdom be preached. And then shall Jesus come to set up his kingdom on earth. Heaven's going to be transferred to earth. And let me give you something to really shake you. When that happens... There'll be no more death, no more crying, no more heartache. It's heaven and earth. And Christ has built something called the holy city, 1,500 miles wide, long and high. It'll take every human being who's ever been saved in it. And we've just been raptured. We're on the other side. We were caught up in the twinkle of an eye, and we missed World War III. The rapture happens just before it. We're gone. And then the war starts. It's a seven-year war. Jesus comes back with all the ones who were in heaven. All of our loved ones, all of them. Oh, it's going to be a reunion <laughs> like you'll never forget. Yeah. And as we come down and land, it's the Battle of Armageddon, the closing war of World War III. And you know what Jesus says to all those on that thing? On you. The second death. Eternal death has no power. Mm, amen. You can't die the second time. But if you're saved right now, your loved ones may be in those graves, but they're coming out. They're going to be alive again in heaven. And everyone who has ever been born again will not die the first or second time if they're still alive at that time. And the ones who are dead raised and we're all going to be together millions and billions of moms dads loved ones oh come quick the lord jesus and you see you're the only one if jesus comes tonight if you pray that prayer later you will not die the first or the second time 
What a deal. Oh, Jack, we're going to deal with more of that yeah. in just a moment, World War III, as a matter of fact. But I do want to draw your attention to our wonderful offer of the week. Remember I said that the Bible is complete, that God wrote it. Nothing is lacking in the Word of God. And this is our offer of the week. Jack's wonderful prophecy Bible. Take a look, please, at the commercial. Presenting the third edition of the Jack Vanopy Prophecy Bible, this beautiful burgundy leather-bound edition has been created exclusively for the friends of Jack Vanopy Ministries. Dr. Vanopy has highlighted all 10,385 prophetic verses and coded each passage in the margins so you'll know at a glance the event to which the prophecy refers. The Jack Vanopy Prophecy Bible King James Version features the words of Christ in red and includes the program Dr. Vanopy used to categorize and memorize over 15,000 verses of Scripture. Also contained in the pages of this outstanding third edition are three books by Dr. Vanopy, Your Future, an A to Z Index to Prophecy, Revelation Revealed Verse by Verse, and Daniel Final End Time Mysteries Unsealed, also verse by verse. This special Bible would make a great gift for any occasion. Oh, please do not put up. You know, this is not, as I've said before, a permanent offer. But uh, please write or call. We'll get this in the mail as soon as we hear from you. God's Word is complete. You'll see it all the time as you read the newspapers. We're going to be getting into something right now that is spreading like wildfire. I've never seen anything like it. Almost <laughs> so many families are saying, I didn't know my son was on that. I didn't know my daughter was involved in this. But I think you know what it is. Drugs. Three dead. Four hospitalized after drug overdoses in Pittsburgh. Well, you know, friends, it's spreading. Young people get started on something very, very small, and then they can't get off. Maybe even something for pain, a new tactic in opioids battle. Oh, my word. We've got to have something to help us overcome this. And here's what happens sometimes. Fathers become advocates after losing sons to suicide. Well, so often drugs do go along with suicide. In fact, you know, the other day I was talking to someone about uh, someone that had committed suicide. And they said they just felt that they were never loved, that they couldn't have what they wanted in this life, so why not give up? I certainly wish that I could have been there for him and said, I know someone who loves you and died for you. But you know, so often young people on drugs do take their lives. Jack. Drugs. I know you've used this, pharmakia. It's a word in the Bible, isn't it? Yes. And I'm not going to spare anyone. Oh, I don't want to hear about these guys preaching about hell. Hundreds of verses are in here. God wrote them. Let me tell you what the book of Revelation says. It says the abominable. The abominable, the way they live. Whoremongers, murderers, Sorcerers and all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire which burneth forever and forever and forever. Who? The fearful. They're afraid to make a decision. Someone might mock them. The unbelieving. Oh, I believe he's a good man and that's not enough. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man, no woman can come to the Father but by me. Get rid of all your excuses. But then he went on to say, the whoremongers, all oh, your sex sins, all oh, you folks are running to these places called whorehouses. Think of it. You're not going to be in heaven. But then he went on to say, the sorcerers, that's the word pharmakia, pharmaceutical places, or drugs. You say, oh, but I like my drug, but your drugs will put you in the lake of fire forever and forever and forever and forever. Is it worth it? Then he says, all the liars, 
that talks about a lot of church members. Get ready. Meet God. Oh, Jack. You really hit it on the head there, I'll tell you. And now we're going to go on to something that uh, Jack has referred to so often during this past year. And, uh, you know, it's on the rise. Take a look, please. It's going to lead to World War III, China asserts Hong Kong powers. Oh, my. Look at that girl. Oh, my heart goes out to her. And then, again, China vows closer ties to Russia. Now, all year long, Jack has been pointing out who's going to join with who and will they be against the United States. Well, underneath here, a day after Joint Air Patrol, Beijing accuses U.S. of undermining regional stability. Well, we know that China and Russia are going to go against the United States. And then again, amid impasse, North Korea moves on. Well, you know, we really haven't had much connection there. We thought we were doing good, but no, no. First, Putin Kim Summit shows off ties. They're coming together, not with us. And then Kim takes uh, Samaritri to Russia. Oh, my, we want to join together and we want to do what we want to do. Kim and Putin talks send signal to who? Well, to the United States. Yes, they're coming together and they're going to be against us because we are against, uh, with the ones that they truly hate. Somebody else against us. Iran is a threat to the whole world. Time to wake up. Well, this past year, we've been awakened to the fact that they are a very strong power. That was a statement that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu made. And we all know that Israel is the one that they're going to march on. Here again, my last headline. Pentagon wants more resources to counter Russia-China threats. Absolutely. Well, Jack, World War III, he's been telling us that it's around the corner. And the countries joining together, Iran, Russia, China, Turkey, and those coming down on Israel. And we will be with Israel. Is that correct, Jack? Oh, Rexel. Many years ago, I started preaching on the coming war with Russia. No one had heard it. So they invited me everywhere, and I preached it in 71-week crusades in churches. I preached it in 234 citywide crusades, like Billy Graham, with millions in attendance. And I preached in many nations. And I said this, I've preached enough. I want to preach other things. But I'm going to warn you people, when you see the day come that the headlines are filled with Russia, China, and Iran, for Iran controls 57 Muslim nations. When you see that, get ready, because that is World War III. And it's here, ladies and gentlemen. It can go in any minute, but I got good news for you. Oh, I love this. I show you a mystery. Shall not all sleep be dead, but all be raised, dead and living. In the moment in the twinkling of an eye, the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and we, the dead, shall be raised. And the living will be there, too. And we'll never have to fear again, because the kingdom of heaven will be set up in Jerusalem, not New York, not Rome, Jerusalem. Forever and forever, the holy city. And as I said earlier, if you're alive now, you will not die the first or second time. Get saved. Well, you know, Jack, that's sort of the answer to the Lord's Prayer. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. But before that, you need to be ready for the rapture when the Lord says to his children, come up. And, uh, you know, friends, I've stressed this so often on our program over and over again for so long. You need to know the Lord. Are you ready? Amen. If oh. With all the things happening in the world, the Lord could come at any moment. Yeah. Are you ready? You can be forgiven of anything if you'll ask Him. Savior of the world, the one who gave His life on Calvary for you to come into your heart, yeah. be your Savior. We you pray this prayer with Jack right now. Precious Jesus, the only way of salvation, the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. 
And I'm asking you right now to believe that and do something about it. That blood was shed to wash every stain of sin you've ever created of any kind. If you'll say, I open my heart, Jesus. Do it, Lord Jesus. I trust in the merits of your shed blood to wash away every stain of my sin. I believe in you now and receive you as my Savior. Amen. Amen. You know, I'll never forget when I prayed that prayer, 17 years old, by my bed at home. My brother Bob, Dr. Robert Shelton, led me to the Lord. And I prayed the prayer, and I knew, oh, my life was changed. I knew that I was ready for heaven. And now, please, let me know if you prayed that prayer. First steps in a new direction will be in the mail as soon as I hear from you. My life became new, and I was taking different steps with the Lord. So please write to me or call. I'll send this as soon as I hear from you. What a glorious life it is to live for the Lord. Our mailing address is Jack Benibby Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. And now here's our wonderful announcement to tell you how you can receive the offer of the week, the Jack Benibby Prophecy Bible. Chuck? Thank you, Rexella. My friend, to order the Jack Van Epi Prophecy Bible, and oh, what a must for your library. Have your credit card ready and call toll free 24 hours a day, 1 800 JVI 7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $59.95 to Jack Van Epi Ministries, Box 7004. Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $59.95 to Jack Van Epi Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. Now here's Rexella. Thank you so much, Chuck. And I do want to say, once again, don't put up. This is the most wonderful offer that we've ever had. You know, friends, we're going into the new year. And uh, we're going to be going in many different directions. But I do want to say Happy New Year because that's very, very important from my heart. Have a blessed one. But uh, I want to say this to you as a closing thought. You are headed in the right direction, yes, when you walk with God. How wonderful to be walking with him in days like this. We need to have his fellowship, his love, his direction, because that certainly is what we want to be, all that he wants us to be. And I want to leave you with this also. It's been a joy for us to come into your home week after week, and we'll look forward to being with you again next week. And until then, remember, God cares for you. Hmm. And so do we, so very, very much. Bye-bye. God bless. The preceding program was sponsored by the partners of Jack Vanapie Ministries.